Hey guys, welcome back. Kyle Dittman, Bullion RV, Duluth, Minnesota. And today I have the pleasure of showing you a brand new 2023 Grand Design Solitude. It's the 310 GK. So we're gonna take you around the outside, we'll get you inside, we'll see what you think. We are up here in Duluth, Minnesota. Right now we're right next to Highway 53. A lot of traffic going on, so I apologize for some road noise, but bear with us, we'll get inside soon enough. But hopefully I'll talk loud enough and we'll kind of, we'll get you through the video. So start you right up front here. Beautiful fiberglass front cap. Wraps around, seals on the side. Really like that. You got your mole ride, uh, pin up front. Prevent a lot of chucking for you going down the road. Move up into the front storage bay here. You got solar charger controller. Uh, you're gonna have a battery disconnect way up top. This one looks like it has an inverter in here already. Um, this is where your hydraulics are gonna live for your uh, stabilizers or for your auto level. So all the hydraulic fuel and stuff's gonna be inside that as well. So this one has six point auto level, push button, walk away, start unloading the vehicle. So you got a couple up front, couple right before the wheels, and there's gonna be two again right after the, the wheels. So really nice stable for a little shorter one. Auto button's gonna be all right here for you. Um, inside the storage bay, you got a power reel. 50 amp cords are heavy, dragging them through the mud. That's no fun. Power reel, push a button. That's gonna be awesome. Really great feature here for you. In the water bay, you're gonna have hot and cold water here. Easy diagrams, so you can do dry camping. You got your city water, your winterizing. Uh, you can figure all that stuff out. It can be really nice. You do have a water filter, uh, water purifier uh, filtration system on board as well. Your low point drains are gonna be right in here. Easy access for those, along with your tank poles. So everything, one convenient location. Can't beat that. 50 amp power cord's gonna be right here for you as well. Uh, so everything for all your systems is gonna be one spot, which is gonna be awesome. Wrap you around. You can see the frameless windows on this coach. Uh, so really nice tinted frameless windows on here. Come around the back side with this camper being a little short, about 35 feet. If you do wish here in Minnesota, you got 70 feet to pull with your truck and everything. So if you wanted to put a small boat, small trailer, you're all set up with the hitch, the four way pin for that back here for you as well, which is gonna be awesome. And you're also prepped for a backup camera on this unit as well. Uh, ladder to get you up to the roof. Really nice to have this on board. Get you up there, check the seals, check your awnings, make sure there's nothing on there. Sweep those off if you need to get pine cones, debris, sticks, anything off that so you don't ruin the slides. So really nice to have that on board, ready to go. One less thing that you have to worry about carrying with you. Uh, bringing around the campsite of the camper here. A couple great features. You got the pull down, pitch adjust on the awnings. You got two awnings on this one. I guess this one only put out a little bit just because of the guy next to us. Uh, but just want to kind of show you that it comes off of the slide instead of behind the slide so it gives you a lot more coverage. You're going to have LED strips under both of these. You got the Rockford Fosgate speakers down below so they're not really up high so you're not having to blast the music. Uh, and if that is your thing, you can still blast the music and it's just going to be right here. Rockford Fosgate's a really good speaker company so you got marine grade speakers so you can have a really nice sound coming out of there. Um, and again, now under the other awning here, um, you got this huge storage bay, you got a nice spray port, you got some power hookups. So you can kind of turn this into a little outdoor kitchen area if you wanted to. Um, you do have a gas port right out front here too. So hook up a little grill, maybe plug in a little refrigerator. You got some water out here. So that's a nice spot up front under one of the awnings, which is gonna be great for you. Another thing I wanna point out, you got an onboard vacuum. So you got a vacuum out here. You can just hook up a hose. Um, then there is a little kick vacuum, a sweep up spot on the inside. Uh, you got motion lights in here. Your battery disconnect's gonna be in here. And then this I think is really great too. It's super easy access panel to get to all your systems back there. So I don't know, it might be a little dark in the video, but uh, you got your access panel to get in there. It's a PEC system, so that's all set up. This is on just a little hinge, so you're never gonna lose it. And it just will attach here. Let's see if I can get this. Whoa. So going down the road, easy to attach that. 
Uh, we got heat pumping into the storage bay here, and you can see the really nice aluminum frame construction. Right here's gonna be your heat duct pumping in there. You're gonna have two 30 pound LP tanks on board, one on this side, one on the other side. All right, what else we got out front? Out front, you got your door is on a magnet system. So you open your door, holds up on a magnet, and you do have the screen door to kind of close it off, keep the bugs out, keep the cool air rolling through. If you got some pets or little kids, we do sell screen guards where you can put a little more solid screen guard up over here so nobody's blasting through this bottom screen guard, which would be awesome. Uh, the stairs, more ride stairs, they are on a nice little um, hydraulic hitch system super easy lightweight put them up and in pull them down they are big and heavy stairs which is going to be really nice when you're kind of walking on them but with that hydraulic lift system in here it makes them super easy to pull up and put down um yeah, i mean you just can't really beat it you got the really nice grab handle bringing it on the inside as well so i think that's kind of what we got going on out here. Oh, grand design. They also put fully laminated walls on the side wall. So really awesome feature, um, especially if you're doing those longer stays, maybe some colder camping, you're gonna have that protection there. So we'll bring you right in. Um, like I said, we got an onboard vacuum inside as well. Um, so you just kick this up with your foot, all the stuff, just scoop it in there. And then you do have a spot to hook up a hose in here with that bag is outside. We'll start back here in the main living space. I mean, there's a lot to go over. I got all the lights turned on right now, but there are just kind of switches everywhere. So you can really customize how you want the lighting in here. Nice bright light during the nighttime or once sort of things kind of calming down, you can really start doing some more um, customizing. Maybe just the lights up here, really nice lights. Even these little sconces up above, it's really nice. We got nice reading lights back here. And again, like I said, they're all on their own different switches so you can really start customizing how you want the lights in the coach to be uh, windows everywhere notice all the windows big windows on the couch and table side you know your campsite overlooking maybe hopefully a lake or the campfires see the kids got going on you got windows in the slides which is gonna be really awesome a lot of windows in the back and then windows even over the kitchen so Really a good, almost 360 view of what's going on, minus the front. So when you're living in here, you got really good space. You got a four person dinette table here. Really nice reclining chairs, kickback. You got little storage pockets on each side. You know, throw the remotes, throw your candy bars, whatever you're going to go in there. You got those on both sides. Really nice, big two-seater couch in the back, same kind of setup, cup holders, little storage remotes, and then this is gonna turn into a sleeping area too. So if you have those guests that come that wanna hang out with you, you can fold out the coach and have them stay with you as well. Power and USB is gonna be on both sides of the, of the couch as well. Um, over here in the entertainment center, right across from your theater seats, you got your TV on a power mechanism right above your fireplace. That fireplace is shooting about 5,000 BTU of heat, so when you're plugged in and it's a nice chilly morning maybe, you wake up, throw the fireplace on, have a nice cup of coffee, what more do you want from that? Uh, Rockford Fosgate, Bluetooth, this is going to run your indoor outdoor speakers, so you have your different zones going on here. Uh, you do have a plug-in to kind of charge some stuff. Um, put the TV down, kind of show you. So as we talk about that, I kind of want to point out this huge island going on in here. Um, really great prep space. Storage all over it, plugins all over it. Uh, one big basin, farm style stainless steel sink. Uh, just a nice area to prep and, and cook. You know, these solitudes are meant maybe, you know, people are using them for seasonal sites or maybe they have their winter home and summer home and this is something. Um, you know, or you're retired and you're just traveling everywhere. This is a perfect unit for you. Like I said, really feels homey, really feels residential. Uh, I mean, look at this four burner cooktop gas oven. I mean, this thing's huge. The oven on it is huge. Thanksgiving's just right around the corner. Come swoop up this thing, 
throw your family Thanksgiving dinner, you can fit a turkey in this oven. The microwave, I mean, residential style microwave. All the cabinetry above it and to the sides of it just really gives you a ton of space for storage. Um, you're having storage above the TV as well. Just really nice, deep storage. Again, another big window on the back side once you put that TV down. On the front, you got plugins all over the front. So whether it's a coffee maker, a crock pot, a ninja blender, whatever you got going on. Um, maybe your fixer, favorite mixing aid, you want to bake cookies. You got plugins, you got storage for all of it. Big, huge storage drawers. The reason why they give you such big storage drawers is because this unit is prepped for a dishwasher. So if you wanted to put a dishwasher in here, you can do so. Big, huge Samsung fridge and freezer, double door. And I came in here, I should show it to you on a video, but I came in here prior with all the slides closed. This, uh, this door you can get into uh, with the slide being closed as well as the freezer. Now the freezer really only pulls out about, you know, once you pull it out, it doesn't, oh, it's locked down. You probably don't lock that, there we go. Um, you can only pull the freezer about this far when it is locked down, but there is a spot to be able to get into some stuff. So keep that in mind when you're traveling, if you ever need to get into your freezer, you know, which is tough. A lot of campers, you can't do that. This one, you can get into the freezer for a little bit of it, which is awesome. And then right to the side, you got this huge pantry over here as well. It has its own light. Let's see if this is the one. It's got its own light for the pantry. Um, so that's going to be really nice. You got this really unique um, storage shelf here with little kind of shelvings up here. Uh, Plug-ins under it. But there's a lot of light switches that are under this. So all these light switches kind of really run here. These light switches are going to run the sconces and the ones above the table and the reclining and really let you customize what you got going on in here. Uh, this unit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the slide. It's starting to get a little windy, so I'm gonna bring the on and in while we chat. Um, in this unit, you got two ACs. So you got one in the main living here, one up in the bedroom. You're also gonna have a max air fan with uh, rain sensor so that thing is going to really move a lot of air for you so I mean today is November 2nd it's 65 degrees here in Duluth Minnesota I mean what you can't you can't beat that just you're out there extending this morning it was kind of chilly afternoon it's beautiful like I said this morning would be a perfect day to throw on that fireplace and really warm up that way so bring in that um, so that's kind of all about the main living space up here We'll pop up and move into the bedroom. As you go, you do have the Compass uh, Lippert One control. So you can run a lot of the stuff from your cell phone as well if you'd like. So you do have, what's nice is you kind of have both options. So you can run all your slides um, on your typical devices that you have from all your motherboard, all your buttons, or you can download an app and run a lot of stuff off your phone, which is really nice. Um, this bathroom, is awesome. I mean, you got a porcelain stool in there. You got, what, four shower heads in, in the shower. You got a seat in the shower. Really nice solid service countertops with a big basin sink. Um, you got a fan in the shower. You got a sky dome above the shower so you taller folks. I'm gonna pop in here. I'm not tall, but just kind of show you. Uh, you got a lot of head space, especially with this, you have a lot more room. I mean, I am a bigger guy moving around here. It feels really comfortable. What I like is that you step in here and step down. So if you did have any little kids or something like that, and you wanted to maybe kind of plug that and make it into a small little bath and kind of wash them off and put them down here, you have the capability to do that, which I think is awesome. So GFCI outlets in here and a lot of cabinets under. So you can even stick a garbage can, store a lot of towels and things in there. And then up here, it's a small little storage, but it goes back and it is deep. So you'll find stuff to put in there as well. All right, the bedroom, king size bed, windows on both sides of the bed, window up above the bed, 
The two on the side will open up for you, get that cross ventilation. You do have two little nightstand uh, cabinet I don't know, shelving on both sides. So if you want to put your devices on there, I know a lot of people really like that. Up under the bed, you got some really uh, good storage under here as well. So you got some storage back there. So there's two chairs at the dinette table that do fold down. So this would be a great spot to store them if you're not using them. Um, you also have, I mean, it depends on who you talk to. You can put some guns in there. You can put some jewelry in there. Um, whatever you want to put in there. That's kind of a nice little hidden storage spot to kind of keep it right there for you. And then you do have some really nice drawers under the cabinets as well. I always think it's funny I watch these videos and down south. Like I said, that's people always talk about their gun storage there and up north people talk about jewelry. So it depends on where you are, that storage is for everybody. Um, a nice another little um, hidden storage spot here. Kind of puts a nice grab to get at um, just right in there. Nice pull out drawers and these are just, I mean, solid wood. They're just really nice smooth pull out drawers. You get your TV in here again with another window uh this unit's great huge closets if you wanted to this is prepped let's see if we can pop this up so this is prepped for a washer dryer um you get your vents you got your plug-ins you got your hookups all in here if a washer and dryer is not for you you have another huge wardrobe space you can take these out hang some taller dresses maybe some suit coats whatever you have going on it's gonna be a really nice section there um in the closet in here you know you can put your hand clothes in there otherwise folding clothes if you're like my wife and i we love shoes this would be shoes <laughs> um, and then a little bit of clothes in that one so really nice space there like i said the second ac is up in this bedroom as well um no in-floor heat ducts those are all coming up off the floor no carpet is in, is in this entire coach um, so just a lot of great features um, so I think that's kind of all we have on this one. I'm sure I might have missed a few things. There's a lot of great things going on with, with, the, with Grand Design and just the solitude. So if you want to know more, please feel free to reach out at 218-740-4964. Again, my name is Kyle Dimon. I'm here with Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. We'd love to get you guys out camping. Uh, we work fair deals. We do our best to kind of make you guys happy. Um, no hidden fees here. So just really all about good business so again give us a call check out our website that's where all of our most up-to-date um, products are um, but if you have any questions again feel free to just give me a call shoot me a text anytime happy to help <laughs>